Hello. Uh, today I want to talk about something that's uh, very important and very painful. It was at some point uh, something that it's it's hard for me to talk about sometimes, you know, it's uh, it's something I have to open up because um, I have a little trauma <laughs> regarding this matter, you know, because I, um, I went to the school system. The first place that I ever went to some kind of school was a house actually some lady that was paid to teach us first letters or whatever and uh, she was teaching me the vowels and I was she had me repeating saying you know a a e i o u and backwards so I I think I said it right, but she always you know uh, punish me for not saying it right. But who was there to say no? You're the one who's wrong, you know. But so one time when she was abusing me, she was hitting me with a ruler. A cousin of mine just happened to step by and uh, rescue me from her. In that particular occasion, it's like a, she was God sent because she she witnessed the abuse that I was being subjected to. So then I went to the a regular school, you know, the public school near where I live, and I just started crying, you know, because it was my first day of school and uh, it was. Uh, uh, before the first grade, this kinder, you know, the pre-primero, they called it before the first. And I was the only one crying. And the teacher got concerned because, my, is this kid crying is going to scare everybody else. So she came and approached me. She was very beautiful young young woman and then um, she asked me why are you crying and I said because uh, you're gonna hit me and she said no no can't, I can't do that you know I will get fired if, if I hit you I didn't wear it. I'm not here to hit you that was in the old days they used to do that you know the, the old days were pretty recent for me you know so um she said um here we're gonna paint we're gonna sing you know we're gonna learn the uh, uh, fun things and you know be with other kids and go around and uh, go outside and play and uh we're not here to you know uh, hit anybody we we can't do that here you know so so she, she made me feel good and I, you know, I stopped crying and uh, continued with her. You know, I liked her, you know, uh, very much. I had a nice, a good time there, you know, with her. And sure enough, on the first grade, or it was fine, and then the second grade, one of the teachers. You know, grabbed me my by my ears also. I you know, went and complained to my grandma, and my grandma went and talked to her, and and then she would always, you know, say, "Oh, you kids, same lies. They like pull your ears," and and she did. You know, she was just lying, and then trying to like ridicule me. You know, I know what I know what happened. I wasn't lying. But you know, uh, being uh, abused as a kid by uh, adults is uh, is um, 
it's a common thing, you know, it happens, it happens a lot, more than, uh, uh, it should, so, I'm not saying that there's no correction needed, but it's by the parents, and, uh, and, uh, the most, um, it should be in the most, um, mature way possible, which is not hitting something, you know, because you, you don't like it, but I'm guilty, you know, of, of that too, when I'm, I, I felt, uh, um, how do you call the, uh, uh, frustrating with the kid being extra annoying, like, the, you know how they say the terrible twos, I think that's when my son was the you know, just crazy and couldn't stop him and had to spank him a little to, you know, put him in shape. <laughs> but, um, and that, but the, the school system was never made for me. He didn't like that box, didn't like that cage. And I like drawing, so I was always drawing, you know, in my... I wasn't good at it and f at first. I was, you know, uh, there were other kids that were uh, a lot better than me. I don't know whether they bought them something, uh, you know, comic books or whatever, and, and, and they they started tracing it and copying them and uh, getting better at it. They were, they had a, a fans in the classroom or and I don't know exactly what you know, how they were so good, but um, f fact of the matter, they they were good. So, and I wasn't so good, but I, I still like it, and I still like it to this day. And uh, you know, I, and that's why the channel is called Sergio Centeno's Art because that's what I want to showcase my art. And, you know, so because I like it, I like that's what I like. I have, um, I didn't do good in school, I, uh, I quit school on the 6th grade, and, uh, some people tell me, that's impossible, I, you know, you can't quit school in the 6th grade, they'll kick your ass, and they did, so, and, but I, I couldn't, I, I just couldn't go anymore. I couldn't take it. I, I was I was sick and tired. The 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 teachers were uh, making me f feel bad and humiliating me. Having other kids, uh, you know, humiliate me also. They, like they 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 uh, they were promoting the bullying for me, you know, because I just didn't care much about them. So, but it's, it's a long story and a long, you know, I it's, can't tell you exactly what happened to me because it was a lot of little things, you know, but I, I like learning, I like studying. When I came here, I was 17, but I didn't go to school here. I went to school for English as a second language, and that's the only thing uh, that I've been to school for besides another uh, technical little career that I took also. I didn't particularly like this uh, field, but it's something that I'm good at if I put my mind to it. If, I, it's, if anything I put my mind to it, it's that I get good at it. So this is uh, the grades. Yeah. So it's not it's not that I'm bragging about it, you know, because it's but it is, you know, if I put my mind to something, I, I get good grades. I gotta also uh, while I work for uh, as a loss prevention, um, I managed to get me a license for. Uh, private investigator but I don't use it I just have it there you know just in case I lose my job or something I need an extra 
income I could go and look for. I could actually have my my own uh, agency if I wanted to with that license. It's a license that you need to uh, finish high school, go to uh, um, and have at least uh, one year of uh, criminal justice, you know, so or you know, but it it's more uh, hands-on if you, if you have the experience, they validate more the experience than the actual study, and that's the way it should be. So that's why I think school is obsolete because going to a classroom, not everybody's made for a classroom. Where well, some people just don't, you can't take it. I see all these kids, they, they, the parents go and pick them up early and they thank them. Thank you. That's like, oh my God. And it breaks my heart because my son is there and, you know, um, I, I don't want to, I, I, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not, I don't push him at all for that because, um, I see how it is. They 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 don't teach them the right things. And why don't they? They should be um, playing so smart past you for them. You know, because it's like wow, this what they don't they don't teach you anything there. It's like garbage. It's like stuff you're never gonna use in your in your life, and that you don't you don't learn uh, the things that are important. Like why are we here? Why are you paying all these taxes? You know, where are the taxes going? Who's getting them? Why do these people continue to have uh, get, get paid for the rest of their life if they occupy a position of power in the government? You know, why being, why be being, you know, why are we being stored out of our money all of our lives? And we don't ever question that. Why, why aren't they, why aren't they interested in teaching us that? Because those people are the ones that are promoting that the, the, the school system, the type of education. They're not interested in us learning the truth. They don't want us to be free. They want us to continue to be slaves. One teacher once told me, "Oh, so he can have a good job." I don't want my son to have a good job. You know, that's a it's job that the the people hiring are not interested in in, in the people they hire. They're interested in making profits. So what would I, my ambition be in life to be, have a good job, you know? What's a good job? You know, the, something that, you know, is limiting you for the rest of your life. So you don't ever grow and be independent, you know, and, and, and have an ex, a, 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 a life of uh, achievements. No, you have a job. Get a job, get a good job. They have good jobs, they think. No, they don't. You know, they, they have sorry ass jobs. That's a sad job when you have to just be uh, uh, enslaving, They're teaching the, the children how to be good slaves. So it's obsolete. It's obsolete. It has to go away. We have this, this system, but we have to start talking about it if we want to see some change. Because it is only through dissemination of the information of the stuff that we're learning, and as as, as our philosophies and the, the things that we now see once you open your eyes to the matrix. That's how I found my Mark Pass here because I was like curious, what is this matrix, man? What are they saying here? They're saying something. I didn't. I I couldn't quite put my finger. There was code, you know. So he was decoding the the what. They were really talking about so uh, I feel that's uh, so valuable that uh, we need to uh, start considering a uh, different type of education now I know they have homeschooling and all that I, but I don't want my son to be at home sitting in front of the computer all day all night I want him to be in, uh, outside with other children, you know, and have an experience, you know, but uh, it's just we have to start looking at different options. So that's what, that's what it's all about, learning 
that it's like I was saying about freedom. Freedom is a process. It's not a um, something you arrive to just by oh magically. You know, like I was saying about Daniel Ortega and Nicaragua. Yeah, people are saying we're gonna be free when he leaves. No, we're gonna be free. You know, you weren't free when Samosa left. So what makes you think you're gonna be free when this guy leaves? I see the next guy is coming, next person is coming, and you're the same slave. Off again. Just uh, waiting for the next dictator to take over. So, um, this, the, the children are the future. We have to start teaching the children. If, uh, you know, like in the Matrix also, uh, the, the um, uh, Morpheus apologized to Neo for waking him up so late in life. Because he said, you know, the, the mind can't uh, um, take it. You know, it's like because people, when they're older, they're so used to the system, they don't get it. They don't. But the children are open for the possibilities. So we have to be uh, teaching our children, like uh, our children, to this new concepts and this new uh, beliefs. You know that the the this new. Uh, philosophies that teach us that you know what was there something terribly wrong with the world in which we live right now and and, and if we don't see it then there's never gonna it's never gonna change we we'll always have to gonna have these people in power and the people who gravitate towards you know this uh, control system they're always gonna win and everybody else uh, the people who, who are different and more um, creative we're always gonna lose because they don't want creative people creative people could create something new you know so that's all I wanted to talk about today and I thank you for your time today is January the 12th it's after midnight um, so and thanks again have a good night God bless you